Vision of Heaven, March 1989. This vision of heaven is so amazing, I hardly know how to begin. But it all began in March of 1989, an ordinary night, going to bed, nothing unusual about that night, or not even necessarily feeling that I'd been in a heightened kind of spiritual condition. The first thing I experienced was I was stood in my bedroom looking at myself, in other words, at my body, which was on the bed. And all this was kind of unusual, but I realized at that point that I had come out of myself somehow. And then I looked out of the bedroom window and I could see another of myself outside the bedroom window. And as I looked down at this other of myself outside the bedroom window, it's very difficult to explain, but the best way I can explain it, I entered into that body in the dream or vision or whatever you like to explain explain it as. And stood next to me there was another brother in Christ and we were having this conversation. We were looking up into the sky and I could see an aeroplane light going across the sky. And then I said to this brother, Peter, I said, I can see an aeroplane, yes, yes, we can see the aeroplane light going across the sky, you know, just like you'd normally see. And then suddenly I had this kind of knowing because Peter said, one day we'll be up there. And I said, but I don't want to be just up there one day. I want to be up there now. And that may sound an amazing statement, but when I said the word now, somehow I just thought upwards and I rose up off the ground and I began to go upwards. And I thought, this is, this is unusual. And the more I thought upwards, suddenly I found myself, I was off the ground and I was away, away. I, hundreds of miles and then I was looking down at the earth and it was beautiful and blue and just as I'm speaking to you on this video as clear as you hear my voice I heard a voice which I perceive and believe to be the voice of God said these words he said the earth and the first heaven Then the next thing I knew it was if an invisible hand took a hold of my back of my head and suddenly I found myself being pulled at an amazing speed. And when I looked this time, I could see underneath my feet the pathway of the stars. And it was like through a fisheye camera lens stretched out in front of me, but underneath my feet. And from that point above was like an expanse of nothing. So it's like the end of the stars. 
or the end of the universe as we might understand it. And again the voice spoke and the voice said the starry heavens. Now the next part of the experience was so quick I just found myself looking down at my hands and my body and falling off of me was droplets of water just like I'd come out of a river but so crystal clear these droplets and yet my, my body didn't seem to be wet and I don't remember having clothes on but I, I must have had some kind of clothing on I mean I don't remember seeing a white robe because I seemed to be just covered in this kind of um, water and then a voice spoke to me from and said the heaven of heavens and then I looked up into what appeared to be a pale blue sky far above my head and then onto this pale blue sky I could see there were like wide bands of light like laser light but pale green shooting up into this heavenly world something like the aurora borealis and right across the top of that in great golden letters was arched the name the Lord Jesus Christ and as I lowered my eyesight down, lower and lower, then I saw this amazing orb of brightness, pure bright white and light and glory, which was at a distance from me. And then I was aware, as I was looking, that there were thousands and thousands of people dressed in white, and this great noise I began to hear of the people worshipping God and I can only describe it like a huge crowd at some amazing uh, arena or football stadium where when somebody scores a goal there's a great release of sound and it was just like that a really animated type of praise and worship because the people seem to be jumping up and down waving their arms, shouting, even seemingly whistling, but it was just a whole a noise. And it wasn't a harsh concophony. It was the most amazing, joyful sound. And the whole atmosphere was charged with this. And then, as I looked towards what appeared to be the front, you see, this was like a huge square in heaven with all these people in this square and then right at the front I could see was like this great great crystal uh, uh, platform where this light was coming and then from behind it was these beautiful pale green laser lights shooting up into the heavenly sky and right from that throne which I perceived that orb of light the glory to be the throne or, or coming from the throne extended out like a platform or a ramp should I say coming down from the throne coming down from the crystal platform and right to the front row of where the heavenly saints the Lord's people were worshipping and then I saw him I believe the Lord Jesus Christ his hair was like flaming and from where I could see, it was like I had a kind of telescopic eyesight. He seemed to be about six foot two. He seemed quite tall. And as soon as he stood at the top of that ramp, then an explosion of waves of praise and worship and joy began to rise up and up and up and up. And this was an amazing scene. And then before I knew it, 
I was just sat up and I was in bed. But I knew I had not been in that bed. I knew this was not just a dream. It was so vivid and so real. And that, that worship and praise, it was like the atmosphere was pure joy, yet very, very holy. I felt the holiness of God and yet the joy of God at the same time. And when I awoke, came out of this experience, out of this ecstasy, uh, for want of a better word, I'd been out of myself, ecstasia. When I came out of this, the first thing I said was aloud, I've been to heaven. That is so holy. And I began to weep. And I began to weep. And then I heard the voice, the same voice that said, the starry heavens, the same voice that said the earth and the first heaven, the same voice that said the starry heavens, the same voice that said to me, go tell. So that's why I'm telling you of this divine experience that happened to me on Sunday the 12th of March, 1989. And that same Jesus Christ is very much alive. I saw him, I didn't fully see him in the sense I could describe every detail because of the brilliancy, but he'd come out, he'd come off the throne and he was standing. And if you remember, that's what happened when Stephen was being stoned and he saw the Lord at the right hand of God. He saw Jesus Christ and he was standing ready to receive the martyr's soul. So I don't know really why he was standing, but he was standing there ready to receive perhaps martyrs that were coming up into the heavenly realm. May God richly bless you as you have listened to uh, this extraordinary testimony and bring it before the Lord and test it and look at the scriptures. But more importantly, there is a need to be born again of the Spirit of God. Yes, he died on the cross. He shed his blood for you. But now he's in the glories of heaven, on that throne. And one day he'll stand up off that throne wide to come back to this earth. And he will come back to this earth in glory and power, surrounded by flaming fire to take vengeance upon them to obey not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be ready. Call upon his name. For as many as shall call upon his name shall be saved. And his name shall be called Jesus, Yeshua. For he shall save his people from their sins.